Greetings traders. I have got myself a demo account here. A lot of you have been asking to have me show you how to set up the global Zen Trader software. And I got this demo here so that I could do that with. Uh, when you get the demo, it um, it starts over again so that it comes up blank. At least it's doing it right now for me. And so if you've already got your real software set up, I believe it comes up blank when you do the demo. At least it just has for me just now. So what I'm going to do is set this demo up just to, to show you how I do mine. And it's really super simple. Let's go over it together. What I do is I right click this area right here and I get rid of that. Show, I say show, show data box, get rid of it like that, right? And then what I do is right click in here and go to crosshair and say hidden. Now you can no longer see the crosshair. Then what I do is I right click again and go to indicators and then go to all active indicators. Click on that. Uh, pops up. I'm going to get rid of everything. I'm going to get rid of this volume. Remove it. Want to remove the volume? See now there's no more volume down there. Don't need volume when you use the system. I'm going to get rid of the s uh, simple moving average. Remove it. Get rid of that. You don't need it. And get rid of this one. Oops. Actually I can't get rid of that one so I'll just leave that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, up here you've got your different symbols. And you can see, let's see if they've got crude in here. I uh, don't see it. So what I'll do is search for it. Let's go to Add Market. And let's see if we can find CL. Okay, how about G, G, C, GCL? Hey, that's the most current one. GCL F6. Crude Oil. Click on that say okay uh, it should have come up right there let's see where is it at GC hmm. it didn't work oh, there it is GCL F6 okay so there's your crude oil you come over here you can see when it expires 12 21 2015 that's the one I am currently on right now it's one I'm uh, actually trading now you can let's first let's fix this uh, chart right here let's put it as a uh, let's just put it as a one minute see what it looks like we'll zoom in you can see it's already set to a candlestick histogram indicators yeah you can change it right here if you have something else but it seems to default to a candlestick that's what I use the candlestick and then you know you can use it so you can see it looks exactly like mine now um, what else? And we've got the um, the GCL F6, which is the current oil contract that I'm using. And you can always roll it forward. You click on that. Click this button right here, roll forward. Every month before it expires, you need to do that. You can actually set it up automatically to do it. And let's see. Um, now, you can go over here and you can click up a chart and pull up a different chart coming up on another window so there you go you have a chart you can change it you can get rid of this thing um, you can get rid of the indicators all active indicators it's already gone let's see you just want to get rid of the crosshair hide that okay so now you can see it looks just like mine you can change it from five minute to ten minute I use a ten minute I use a daily and I use a one minute my system okay so let's see and then you can pull up a well I should have saved it as a template you can pull it up out of the dome just you can right click and uh, let's see here or it's got a dome on here right let's see where is it it's over here click up the dome it comes up on another window bring it up over here there you see you got the dome so what you can actually do is just click right on the instrument and right click it and click dome and then the, the uh, dome will come up for that instrument. Now we're under GCL F6. So you can trade right there. And for this part right here, let's get rid of that. We'll go into the... It's been a while since I've done all this. Let's see here. It would be... 
hang on one second I know I like to click this auto center price um, show last volume I think that would be it unclick that let's click apply nope it still shows right there I want to get rid of this volume okay it's right here under this tab histogram click on the histogram and unclick that histogram showing the volume right there click apply then it gets rid of it now you got it just like I like to do it then what I like to do is use the brackets so you click on over here on the brackets actually I don't think that's it that's another thing right there what we'll do is we'll click apply say OK and then over here you'll see some brackets right there click on that you'll see it comes up down below now you can use the brackets and we can click all of them the cell brackets and the buy brackets and now you just do it down here wherever you want to set it at automatically I usually just put it at uh, 20 .20 .20 why does it want to keep doing that to me? 0 0.20 <laughs> keeps wanting to do that to me. Crazy thing. Okay, let me uh, get rid of these two, and then I'll backspace. How about I'll, I'll do that one right there and press two. There we go. Now I'll Control A, Control C, and then Control A, Control V, Control A, Control V. Control A, Control V to copy and paste. You're just pasting it all into there. So now it's all set to 20. 0.20, 20 ticks off the oil market. So there you have it. That's pretty much all I do to set this thing up. Um, took me like what? Just a couple minutes to do it. It's as simple as that. Now you've got your dome. And what I'll generally do is I, of course, I have multiple monitors. So I'll stick this on another monitor. And then I'll stick like a couple of charts, a chart here and a chart here, put like a, uh, um, let's say a daily and a 10 minute and then off the one minute here. And I use the one minute uh, generally for entries and the daily and the 10 minute for, uh, you know, where we are and the bigger sense of things and to uh, look at code two a bit better. Now, I'm not sure about this because it's been so many years since I've done this, but I believe that once you set this thing up, you just, let's see, you can workspace, you can save it, save as, call it your, you know, whatever you want, you know, like mine would be David's layout, and then it saves it for you. It also uh, defaults to save at close, so when you close this thing out, it'll save the last, uh, um, the wet last way that you saved it so as long as you keep it the same it'll always save it the same and uh, then you can actually go here and to the global settings and say save as save your global settings and if you ever get them messed up or anything like that you can load the global settings load them right there and bring them back into your, that that uh, s that file that it's going to save it as and bring that file back in by loading it right here and it'll come right back up the way it was so that's how simple it is that's how simple this is a very simple system that I just use the dome to take entries you know you can um, buy at the bid or buy at the ask you can sell at the ask or sell to the bid you know if you're sitting on the ask and you want to sell you gotta wait for it to go off at that price if you're sitting at the bid and you want to buy you gotta wait for it to go off at that price or you can immediately buy right to the ask or immediately sell right to the bid whichever way you want to go. If you enter and you're entering on these brackets, it'll automatically place a stop and an exit right where they are. And then let's say the stop is right here. You can click on the stop and move it around anywhere you want. Or if the, if the exit's over here, you can click it around, move it anywhere you want, or vice versa. If the stop is up here, you can move it anywhere you want. If the exit's down here, you can move it anywhere you want. Simply by clicking on it, holding the, the, the mouse down, and then moving it anywhere you want. So you can quickly adjust the stops or the exits that way. You don't have to go over here and manually do it. See, you would manually do it over here. And uh, But why bother if you've already got brackets set? That's why I like to use brackets. They're really, really useful for that. So anyway, that is how simple this software is. The software is free to use through Global Zen Trader. Uh, it's free software. It works really good. You know, I can use any software I want to use. And I really like this one. This is why I recommend this one. So, you know, if you want yours to look like mine, I just showed you how to do it. It's very effective. 
what I am going to I'm going to start making a lot more YouTube videos for you and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from one instrument to another all of them basically and I'm going to show you that I know which direction any and all instruments will go before they go there because all instruments the world over Chinese Japanese Australian American European all instruments all over the world are all controlled by a computer program nothing in this world really trades the only thing that trades that I know of are individual stocks within the stock market those are the only instruments that actually trade all other instruments are 100 percent being controlled by a computer in advance 100 percent mathematical fact I broke the code in 2006 and what I'm going to do to prove that is I am going to show that I know which direction any and all instruments will go before they go there and what I'll do is I will show this on camera instead of recording the screen I will actually record the monitors and what I'll show is like a CNBC quote up here and another quote from somewhere else down here plus the software so you can see that the software is in line with what you're seeing from the website CNBC etc no way to fake it then I'm going to start doing seminars in Bangkok Thailand Singapore and Hong Kong in person to show people in person that I can tell which direction any and all instruments in the world will go before they go there with very high degree of accuracy since of course I know the code and know exactly how it works and how to use it my agenda is to wake people up to what's really going on that all of the markets are being controlled by a computer and to give people the power and the knowledge to know how to take advantage of this so that anybody with the willingness to learn can and, and, and the willingness to apply themselves can learn how this works and make money from it all over the world that is my agenda to help people and to wake them up at the same time I want people to know and understand that all of the markets are being controlled by a computer. The people who have put this under control of a computer should not be allowed to manipulate all the people of the world like that. I am here to wake people up and to blow the whistle on what they have done and to help people at the same time make money. So I hope this video helps you to learn how to set up the software. I will be back very soon with more videos to help you, to inspire you, to teach you, and ultimately help you be successful financially. So I will be back very soon. Take care and happy trading.